Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we're going to do a head-to-head -head battle between Simple Mobile and T-Mobile. They both run on the T-Mobile network. So I'm going to use my iPhone XS Max for T-Mobile. I'm going to use the Galaxy Note 10 Plus for Simple Mobile. We're going to put them head-to-head, -head, see which one performs the fastest with their data speeds. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here we have it. We have both phones. This is the iPhone XS Max right here. This one has the uh, the T-Mobile standard service. This is the T-Mobile postpaid service. Over here, this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This one has the simple mobile service in it. So uh, let's go ahead. I have them both set to the same server. So let's go ahead and we'll hit go. So we'll do one, two, three, go and we'll see which one is faster if it even matters maybe they both have the same speed maybe they don't but let's see what we get so look at that uh oh t-mobile's pulling ahead t-mobile is up there it's at like 32 megabits 30 yeah and uh simple mobile's at about 13. Woo, t-mobile's still going they're at 38.9 megabits and let's see what the upload speeds are going to be Upload speeds are about the same so far. They look like they're about the same. Um, yeah, I don't see much of a difference here. There's maybe Simple Mobile slightly faster, but nope, there we go. All right, so there we have it. That is, uh, that is the first test here. That is running them together. So we're looking at 38.9 uh, on the T-Mobile side, and we're looking at 13.3 on the uh, Simple Mobile side. So let's run this test one more time here and see if we get the same, uh, same results. So we'll go ahead and we'll click it uh, at the same time. So we'll do one, two, three, go. And we'll see if they, uh, if they go and connect, if they get the same speeds or if they're faster or slower. So we're looking at about the same speeds right now. And then it looks like T-Mobile's jumped ahead again. And it looks like the Simple Mobile is about the same speed. So we're looking at about 13.8 megabits down and T-Mobile's at 39.1. And then the upload speeds again are looking pretty abysmal. <laughs> and uh, it looks like they're, they're both pretty slow but they do seem pretty consistent as far as uh, what you can expect on the upload speeds. They're about the same out there, but the, but the download speeds are considerably, considerably faster on the T-Mobile side. I mean, they're more than twice as much there. So um, yeah, I mean, that looks like 39 versus 13. That's like, that's like triple. So um, let's actually go ahead. We're gonna try this. Uh, we're gonna try this one last thing here. What we're gonna do is we're going to run the test individually. So we're gonna run the T-Mobile test first, and then we're gonna run the uh, Simple Mobile and see how it does. So let's go ahead and we'll hit go on, T on the T-Mobile one. So let's do one, two, three, go. We'll see uh, how fast that one goes, if we get the same or better results. So, all right, there we go. We can see it's up there. It's around, uh, it's around 25 right now. 24, 25, it did get up there to like 30 something, then it dropped down to about 25. And now the up speeds are pretty slow and pretty terrible still. So we're looking at about less than a megabit um, a second there, which is pretty bad. I'm, I believe the up speed should be much faster than that. So we're looking at about one megabit. And so yeah, so there we go. We have 25.2 down and 1.1 up for T-Mobile and running that one uh, individually. So let's go ahead now and we'll run the uh, Simple Mobile individually and we'll see how this does. So we'll hit go. So one, two, three, go. And we'll see how this one does here. So this one is going and there we are about 16, 17, so we're about 16.8 megabits down. We'll see what the up speeds are. Uh, let's see. There, wow, that's really, really slow. I mean, they're going, I mean, it's barely moving. It is, there we go, it's picking up a little bit. So we're at about one point something. So about 1.25, 2, 1.3, so, all right, so there we go. So we got about uh, 1.68 down and about 1.30 up on the uh, simple mobile side. So 
yeah, there you guys, there you have it. Now, again, these are, they're different phones. They have different, uh, you know, they obviously have different hardware, but they are very, very uh, compatible or compatible. They're very comparable because they are both flagship phones. Now, granted, the iPhone is a little bit older uh, because this is the iPhone XS Max, so it's about a year old. And the uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus just came out about a week or so ago. So this is the newest phone here. So, but I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna switch them up. I'm gonna pop the SIM cards and uh, I'm gonna pop the simple mobile SIM card out, put it in the iPhone and vice versa, and we'll see if it makes any difference. All right, so I went ahead and switched out the SIM card. So I now have my T-Mobile SIM card here and my Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I have my simple mobile SIM card and my iPhone XS Max. So I have the same server, this uh, QTS data centers in Dulles. We're gonna go ahead and run them both at the same time. Then we're gonna run them individually and we'll see how they do. So let's run them first at the same time. So we'll go one, two, three, go. And we'll see how they do. And hopefully they get good speeds, but you just never know. All right, looks like they're going. Right now, it looks like the uh, Simple Mobile is actually outperforming T-Mobile, it looks like. It looks like right now we're at about 11 megabits uh, down with Simple Mobile and about 5.48 uh, with T-Mobile. And the upload speeds are also better so far on, um, on Simple Mobile, whereas we're getting about nine megabits up. And with uh, T-Mobile, we're getting about five point uh, something up. So we have 5.48 up or 5.48 down with T-Mobile and 12.9 down on Simple Mobile. And then we have 5.63 up on T-Mobile and 9.01 up on Simple Mobile. So T-Mobile over here didn't do quite as good as Simple Mobile on this side, even though they're running on the same network. Now, I'm not sure if this has anything to do with the phones or it just has to do with, uh, you know, dumb luck for that particular test, but, um, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to do this test again, except we're gonna run it individually. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just going to hit go. We're gonna leave them on the same servers. We're gonna hit go and then we're gonna see how it performs. So let's go ahead, I'll run T-Mobile first and we'll hit go. We'll see how that one does. So it says it's connecting and we'll see what if it goes. It's still going pretty, well, there we go, it's picking up. It's getting, it's getting faster now when it's running individually. So it's about 21 megabits. Um, up or down right now, so about 21 megabits down. There we go, 21.1 down. We're doing the upload speed, so upload looks like it's bouncing between about nine and 10, so it's probably gonna be around nine megabits up there. So, yep, there we go. So T-Mobile, when it ran individually, it gave me 21.1 down and uh, 9.50 up. So let's go ahead and run Simple Mobile now, and we'll hit go. And again, this is the same server, and there we, it's on the same T-Mobile network. So we have, let's see, we have 9.10, 11. So we're at 12 megabits, 13 megabits. So it's it's running a little bit slower here when it's running individually. So there we go. It's, uh, it's uh, upload speeds though are considerably faster. So it looks like our upload speeds. Uh, right there are almost twice as much. So I guess it's coming back down now to about 11 megabits uh, up. And let's see what we get here. So yeah, so we're at 13.9 down and 12.4 up. So it is uh, it is a little bit slower on the, on the simple mobile side running it individually, but the upload speeds are, are faster and they've been consistently faster through this testing. So there you guys have it. Those are the results. That is simple mobile versus T-Mobile on network speeds. So I'm gonna do this one last test on here with both devices, except now I've turned on the Wi-Fi. So let's see how they perform with Wi-Fi on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click go. So we'll hit one, two, three, go. And there we go, they're both connecting and we can see there that the, uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is really flying there on Wi-Fi, it's got 212 megabits down. The iPhone is picking up a little speed there. It's got 141. And then the upload speeds on the, uh, on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is hitting around 20 megabits, whereas the iPhone is hitting around the same, about 20 megabits. So let's see. So the iPhone's jumping up there still. So there we go, we have 
211 down and 21 up on the on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, whereas the iPhone hit with 141 down and 27.4 up, and that's on Wi-Fi, and that was running them together. So if you guys are interested, I'll run this one last test. I'm gonna run them, uh, I'll run them uh, individually so you guys can see. So I'll run the iPhone first, then I'll run uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit go. And there we go, it's gonna start connecting. And let's see if we get, um, yeah, there we go. That one running it separately is uh, is picking up a considerable more a considerable amount more speed. So we're now we're over 200 megabits, whereas before we were around 141. So there we go, we have 204 down and we have 31 up. So yeah, look at that. There we go, 20, 204 down and 131.3 up. So that's looking pretty good on the uh, iPhone XS Max. So let's go ahead and run this, the, uh, the same test on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and we'll see how this does. And let's see here. So we're gonna hit that. Oh, it slowed down considerably for whatever reason, doing the individual one. This is what's weird. Oh, there we go, it's picking up. It's picking up and going. But this is what's weird about some of these tests. Sometimes you get really, really different results, you know, when you run the same test back to back. So it's still getting good um, upload speeds, you know. So anyways, it's getting, yeah, it's getting about 31 megabits uh, up and 103 down. So, you know, the results do vary depending on test to test. So you have to run multiple tests, but you guys get an idea of some of the speeds that you can expect uh, from these phones using both Wi-Fi and cellular when you're using, uh, this one was, you know, I'm using the T-Mobile network for both phones one of them with a, a T-Mobile SIM card, the other one with a simple mobile SIM card. All right, so there we have it. That is a look at the difference in data speeds between simple mobile and T-Mobile using both a Samsung phone and an iPhone. And yeah, what did you guys think about it? You know, some people say that, uh, that the third party carriers, some of these budget cell phone carriers, that they have slower speeds because the majors like T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, they don't prioritize the, uh, those third party carriers uh, traffic over their own. They don't, they don't prioritize them equally. In fact, they actually downgrade their prioritization. So you may end up with uh, slower speeds when you're using their data. So, but you know, the, the tests don't lie. So there it is. But what did you guys think about it? Did you guys, were you guys surprised or impressed or, or disappointed? You guys let me know down in the comments section and I'll leave you guys links to, to both T-Mobile and Simple Mobile so that you guys can check them out if you're looking for, uh, for service, phone service or whatever. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And hi, I'm Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.